Welcome back. We are tracking a controversial story in Elk Grove that you first saw right here on ABC 10. A woman says Animal Control plans to put her dog to sleep and she is fighting to keep him alive after he was labeled a dangerous dog. Yeah, some are siding with the woman while others say it's the owner's responsibility to make sure a dog does not hurt others. ABC 10's Jay Kim spoke to a dog trainer in Elk Grove to find out what it takes to be a responsible pet owner. Ariel Kabir says her one-year-old German Shepherd Zeus is facing euthanization after he bit a man and weeks later an officer. The city says she failed to follow a set of guidelines after they classified him as a dangerous animal, so they decided to take him away. Juan Portillo owns JP Canine Academy in Elk Grove and has trained dogs for 10 years. Being a responsible dog owner means that you know you, you dedicate time to train your dog, the basic obedience, sit down, stay, come, heal, go to your place. He saw the body cam footage that was released by Elk Grove Animal Services and weighs in on the situation. My first reaction was I, I see a dog that's kind of uh, reactive to strangers, people that are not part of his pack. Uh, the other thing I saw is uh, leash management. You know, it, it needs improvement. You know, I think Zeus would be a great dog if he had proper management with the proper training. Portillo says for high drive breeds like German Shepherds, owners should dedicate two to three hours of training each day. The city of Elk Grove said in a statement during a final inspection on July 15th, Kabir was unable to demonstrate full compliance with the dangerous animal regulations, which included owning a muzzle, a short control leash, and showing that Zeus was in obedience training. As far as like a dog biting, uh, growling, barking at other dogs, barking at people, uh, not having leash manners, all of that stuff. I would say requires uh, the help of a professional. Kabir told ABC 10 today that a federal judge decided to extend the euthanization date until next Wednesday to spend more time reviewing the case. Portillo hopes he can have an opportunity to help Zeus. I know I would be able to help him out. That's that's not a question. The city of Elk Grove also said in a statement, quote, we understand and acknowledge the concerns this case raises. However, the city's primary objective in this case and in all other cases involving dangerous animals is to protect the safety of the public, particularly in a case such as this where an unprovoked dangerous animal has attacked individuals, causing injuries on multiple separate occasions.